Welcome brothers and sisters to Mother and Refuge. The life of Jesus Christ is filled with extraordinary events, but perhaps one of the most remarkable aspects of his ministry was his ability to perform miracles. These miracles were not just impressive displays of power, but they were also acts of compassion that transformed the lives of those who witnessed them. Jesus performed numerous miracles during his time on earth, but there are seven miracles that are particularly significant, as they are recorded in the Gospel of John. These miracles not only demonstrated Jesus' divine power, but they also showed his compassion and care for those in need. In this video, we will explore each of the seven miracles, examining their historical and theological significance and considering their relevance for us today. The first miracle of Jesus took place at a wedding in Cana, where he turned water into wine. This miracle was a powerful sign of Jesus' divine authority and his willingness to bless the lives of those around him. In John 2 verses 1 to 11, when the wine ran out at a wedding in Cana, Jesus was able to turn two stone pots of water into fine wine. The second miracle occurred in Capernaum, where Jesus healed the son of an official who was near death. This healing not only saved the boy's life but also showed the power of faith in Jesus Christ. In John 4 verses 46 to 54, a royal official came to Cana seeking Jesus to heal his son 20 miles away in Capernaum. Even without moving, Jesus healed the boy from a distance. The third miracle took place at the pool of Bethesda, where Jesus healed a man who had been paralyzed for 38 years. This healing demonstrated Jesus' compassion for those who were suffering and his power to restore broken bodies and spirits. In John 5 verses 1 to 15, Jesus noticed a disabled man by the Bethesda pool. He told the man, rise, take up your mat, and walk, and the man walked for the first time in 38 years. The fourth miracle was the feeding of the 5,000, where Jesus miraculously fed a large crowd with just five loaves of bread and two fish. This event showcased Jesus' ability to provide for the physical needs of his followers and demonstrated his love for humanity. In John 6 verses 5 to 14, Jesus and his disciples look out over a crowd so large that 200 days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. The fifth miracle occurred when Jesus walked on water and calmed a storm, demonstrating his power over the elements and his ability to bring peace and tranquility to our troubled lives. John 6 verses 16 to 24 shares the story of Jesus walking on water, when they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they began to be afraid. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading. The sixth miracle took place when Jesus healed a man who was born blind, an act that not only restored the man's sight but also transformed his life and his relationship with God. In John 9 verses 1 to 7, Jesus passed by a man blind since birth. When his disciples asked, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus responded, Neither he nor his parents sinned, it is so that the works of God might be made visible through him. Jesus then anointed the man's eyes and told him to wash in the pool of Siloam, and the man could see. The seventh and final miracle was the raising of Lazarus from the dead. This powerful event demonstrated Jesus' power over death itself, and it revealed his true identity as the Son of God. May we continue to learn from these miraculous events and be inspired to live our lives with faith, hope, and love, just as Jesus did. May the grace and peace of Jesus Christ be with you always.